Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Thursday, October the 26th, and here are today's top headlines. An intense manhunt underway for the gunman who killed at least 16 people in two mass shootings in Maine. We're following the latest developments. And a brazen robbery caught on camera. Officials say a group of thieves intentionally crashed into a driver on a local freeway, then robbed him. Plus, local homeowners surprised to find these guests ringing their doorbell. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to check your uh, resume. Oh, yeah. Map. First, we're talking weather. Feeling like fall. Yeah, it was a, definitely a little more chill in the air yesterday. Yeah. You can feel that. And very little sunshine. We may get a little bit more sunshine later today, but we're going to start you off with some clouds, maybe a little light drizzle as well. So good morning, everybody. On a Thursday, getting a little closer to the weekend here, here's the live look into Huntington Beach. It looks beautiful as always. Hard to see that marine layer, but it is out there. A little obscurity with the lights there on the pier, so that always is a uh, pretty good giveaway for us. We will find temperatures falling below the average. Once again, we'll see lots of lower 70s for highs today, including downtown with that morning drizzle. We do have a chance of getting a little more sunshine today, so I think that will be good news. Temperatures won't budge too much. We still have some cooler air behind that front that pushed through yesterday. But uh, despite some morning clouds, we do get more sunshine, as I mentioned. Should be a beautiful day, especially in the high desert, 74, with some breezy conditions. We'll talk about the upcoming weekend, some changes there as well. All the details just minutes away. Ginger. Yeah, people are already talking about, you know, maybe some of their Halloween soirees. So you want to know what the weather's going to be like, right? A few things for us to cover for your drive this morning. So very active in the overnight hours. And now, uh, believe it or not, things are still a little bit challenging, but not horrible. 405 North right here at about Culver Boulevard. So... They're talking about a crash that sounds serious. The thing is, even though there is still a lot of activity that's out of lanes, they're still waiting for a tow unit to get to the scene to help clear it and get it out of the way. So sometimes that means that uh, they have to block a lane or two in order for those tow units to get here and then clear it. Let's move you over to look at your drive and the conditions if your plans take you along this stretch of the 10 freeway westbound side about Mountain Avenue, Montclair, Claremont, those great spots. Let's see, the crash that's still sitting in lanes. I was thinking there was one more detail about it. But anyway, you see it slow in both directions. There, we, that's it. Thank you, Tommy. Producer Tommy telling me it's near construction zone. So sometimes that's a little bit more of a challenge for them to clear it and get it out of the way. Just be prepared for some of those delays. Maybe related more so even to the construction. All right, guys, back to you. Breaking news, a manhunt underway this morning for a mass shooter who killed at least 16 people in two locations in Maine last night. The shootings happened at a restaurant in a bowling alley in the town of Lewiston that's about 30 miles outside of the capital of Augusta. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live in our newsroom with the latest details. Carlos, good morning. Uh, Chris and Megan, good morning. Details still fluctuating. The mass sh uh, shooting has left a small New England city shaken as a manhunt continues for the gunman. As you mentioned, authorities say at least 16 people have been killed but they say the death toll could be as high as 22. This morning, residents are being told to continue to shelter in place as an indeed. Threats to carry out. Certified firearms instructor and a member of the U.S. Army Reserve. He had recently made threats to carry out a shooting at a National Guard facility in Seiko, Maine, and also reported mental health issues, including hearing voices. A vehicle, which was a vehicle of interest in this incident, was located in Lisbon.